So Tim, um, I know Sky Safari Pro is awesome about showing satellites and planets and so forth, but there's a lot of buzz now about asteroids, and I hear you guys right. have some improvements. Can you show me what you got? Sure. Um, so we have Sky Safari Pro here, and I'm just going to launch the app as it normally launches, and it shows you, you know, the night sky from your current location. You know, we're here in San Francisco, or uh -huh. and your current time. And so let's go search for our asteroid. Um, this little guy is called 2012 DA14. I'll just type it in here again. 2012DA14. And we're searching for it. And right now the app is doing a little bit of math to figure out where it's going to be in the sky. And uh, so let's center on it. Well, right now that asteroid is under the south pole of the Earth. So from our location, it's underground. But let's move ahead to the day of the flyby, uh, which is February 15th. So I'm going to go to our settings, date and time and pick uh, February 15th. And let's pick right around sunset, um, since that's uh, when you can start observing it. OK, so now our little guy, DA14, is uh, in the northern sky, um, right, in the, right off the bowl of the little dipper here. I can zoom in a bit. And we can start the time flowing forward. And what you're seeing now is the actual motion of the asteroid going at one minute per step uh, through the sky. And this is, um, this is actually done using the same math that NASA and JPL do, so you'll get a very accurate representation of the asteroid's position. Will you be able to see this with the naked eye? Uh, no, it's too faint from, from us, from San Francisco. The asteroid at this time is already well on its way out. Um, it'll be a binocular, you know, a faint binocular object if you happen to be in Australia or Indonesia, where it'll be overhead. But from us, we're, we're getting it after it's, you know, essentially halfway to the moon. This will let you know where to look, or at least to let you know where it is, though. Exactly, exactly. Uh, in fact, we can show you not only the, what you see from the Earth, but we can, we can show the asteroids flyby from the point of view of the asteroid. So let's do that, actually. So I'm going to, with the asteroid selected here, I'm going to hit the orbit button. And so now we're leaving the Earth behind. And uh, we are sneaking up on the asteroid here. <laughs> so there's our little guy, DA-14. Um, and so the Earth, again, is, we've, we've passed the point of closest approach. So the Earth is way down here below oh. us. What's and this green field? So those green dots are actually satellites. Um, those are our, the, the green ring is the uh, orbiting geosynchronous like TV and radio satellites. Oh. Uh, in fact, this asteroid moves uh, so close to the Earth that it actually comes inside uh, the trajectory of wow. those satellites. So, in fact, I can run this backwards here. Let's, um, you know, we're past the moment of closest approach, but uh, in fact, I'll go at, say, an hour per step. And that's the flyby as seen from the asteroid. Hmm. In fact, I can center on the Earth so it stays uh, locked in the view here. If it's moving into that field of satellites, is there any chance of collision? Well, technically, yes, but in practice, you know, probably well, not. I mean, space, space is space. pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. So here, now we're about a day before the flyby. So uh, here's the same view, centered on the Earth. And we're going past the Earth's nice side, wow. moving from south to north there. Um, here's another view that sort of illustrates what's going on. Um, you've noticed that we're moving you know, essentially south to north, from below Antarctica to above the North Pole. Mm -hmm. Well, why is that happening? Here's another view that sort of illustrates what things are, uh, what's going on. I'm going to search for the sun. And let's orbit the sun. And that's the whole solar system uh, as a whole, all the orbits of the planets shown as uh, circles here. Mm. So we're going to zoom in until we get to the inner solar system. Wow. And uh, so let's show the orbit of our little guy, uh, DA14. So we're going to go to settings, solar system, and we are going to show the orbit of the selected object, which uh, is still, we're going to select 2012 DA14 again. This is amazingly deep. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this app. I mean, you can have a lot of, you can spend a lot of time with Sky Safari Pro, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, this now is the orbit of uh, the Earth and the asteroid in wow. 3D. You can see how close they are there. Right, exactly. So you notice the orbit is tilted relative to the Earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, so here's what's going on. I'm going to just run the app forward. Let's go at a day per step here. And as time goes by, uh, the asteroid is moving above the north pole of the Earth. Mm -hmm. And as we go, I'll go backwards now. Um, the asteroid is really tracking us, but it's just going above and below us. Whoa, whoa, what just happened there? Okay, yeah, let's let's watch that again. So this is the day of the flyby, right? 
here. Okay, that's interesting. And so what's happening is the Earth's gravity is tweaking the orbits of the asteroid so severely that you can really see the orbit shift. And uh, so this Sky Safari Pro is the only mobile app which can do this. Um, we're using, again, the same kind of math that NASA and JPL do, so we're really reproducing the real physics of, of all three bodies, sun, planets, Earth, and the asteroid. So, so this is the, the gravitational relationship between the asteroid and the Earth actually shifting the or orbit of the, of the asteroid. Exactly, exactly. So and this, it, at this moment, it just alters its course forever. Exactly, wow. exactly. And this kind of thing happens all the time. Um, you know, this is why an asteroid which you know, may not have any danger of hitting the Earth now could do a close fly flyby in the future, and, and that tweaks the orbit around so that on another pass, maybe, it will hit the Earth. So it's an area of uh, interest to lots of folks right now. It's so exciting, people are calling for it. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Ben. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. It's brilliant. Sure. It.